Does it You're work? Fat. Shifting like a dream. Light speed. <laughs> I got bad news, bud. I'm on a doggy trip. Should I, should I talk? Oh, sure. Yeah. Where are we at? What are we doing? Hello, everybody. Welcome to St. George, Utah. Drop the beat. So it's Wednesday. Race is Saturday. We're going into the Washington Community Center to do our swim. Um, it's better to come to this pool before 5 p.m. because there's swim teams that get in. But obviously we're here right at 5 p.m. because... <laughs> yeah, so if you want to swim in St. George, the options are like the lake, the Washington Community Center, and I think Summit Athletic Club has lanes, but it's a private club so it's a bit harder to get into. Those are your options for swimming. Whatever, camera, camera equipment issues. We got one more bike ride. We're gonna make it cool. Welcome to the new Washington Parkway, everybody. This is where I recommend doing pre-race pickups. these run up. Eric, what are we doing here? You complaining about people who leave their bike racks on <laughs> in the parking lot. Come on, lot. guys. Hello. Really? We're doing uh, just like a, a quick run with some some pickups. I think it's like 30 seconds to a minute. Solid. I don't know. I never checked the workout until like just before I started. Speaking of which, why are we here without Paula? Um, Paula had drug testing. Like just as we were walking out the door to this run that needs to be fit in perfectly into this like one hour time slot, drug testing shows up for the second time a week. Oh really? Yeah, they did. For her both times? Oh yeah, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was so proud the first time I got drug tested. I'm like, wow, I'm like so fast uh, enough to be like. I would figure it's suspicious. random. It's not random. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Uh, I'm Nick Olson, and this is That Triathlon Life. My, 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 it's a beautiful world. I like drinking Irish tea. With a little bit of lapsing.
Why are we waiting for Eric right now? He forgot socks. How many things did he have to remember? Like four? Yeah. But there's a lot to remember today, so I didn't get that mad at him. Just, just a like a little Just a light bad. spanking. Just a light, <laughs> <laughs> light spanking. <laughs> Okay, this is a logistically complicated day, as is any race with two transitions. We are going to drop off our run stuff in T2, whatever, in town. We're gonna to get a coffee, which is essential. We're gonna go drop our bikes off, T1 at the lake, and do a swim. I think that's the only way it makes sense to do. Are we not gonna dress this? I'm budget Eric Lagerstrom, but I'm like the, the body double. So when people come up, they talk, go to me first and Eric can run away. Um, yeah, we're rolling. Do you hate this? Triathlon? <laughs> no, doing this interview here. <laughs> no, it's okay. okay. Yeah, we can do it. It's not... Do I you hate triathlon? I'm, I'm ready. No. Alright. Believable. Hey, vlog. <laughs> Hi, TTL family. We are one day post St. George. Apologies for no video today. Eric just couldn't edit this week. Needed to, you know, focus on the race. So, thanks for skipping a week with us. Um, we're gonna do a short little race recap, and uh, I don't know, we don't really feel like talking about it, but I think it's important to wrap up the video since we filmed some stuff this week. Awesome. Yeah. Eric, you go first. Okay, uh, we're here at Kolob Canyons. I would recommend this over Zion if you just have like time to do one thing. Much less busy, pretty similar experience. But yeah, we'll real quickly we'll go through like what happened in our races. I don't know actually what happened in my race. Um, I felt pretty good this week. I put a lot of like, really felt like this was gonna be a good race for me and everything, but kind of coming out of the water, I just, the only way I can describe it is like my legs felt lactic, like I was bonked, like I was racing at 10,000 feet instead of 4,000, which is no big deal. Um, and just never could really get my legs going, firing on the bike and it was like the longest two hours, I think, in the sport for me to date. And I, I decided to call it on the run because I am going to try to do the Xterra in Alabama next weekend. And um, for my love of the sport and for hopefully a good race next weekend, I decided not to do the run. Good not, call. Yeah. Not, not something I'm proud of. Um, no, I think it's better than slogging through that run. I've, done, I've, I've made sure that I finished and slogged through a, a couple of runs and it's... <laughs> yeah. This one's not know. the one for that. Not the hill I was going to die on, literally. Yeah. So over to um to your race, which I'm very proud of. I used yeah. to it out. Yeah, I feel like relatively fit right now, but not super super fit. I didn't know what to expect. I after Daytona, I realized that like anything is possible, so I went into it with that mentality. And when I was out of the water with Daniela, I thought, why not try to ride with her? Like, how good could she be? <laughs> Good. Turns, out, good. turns out very good. <laughs> I was basically going like my faster than Olympic distance watts basically and getting dropped really hard on the first 10 minutes. So I knew I was kind of like wrecking my potential later race by trying to go with her, but you don't know till you try and who knows if she starts hard and slows down, but she doesn't. She just goes that hard the whole way. So I rode solo after getting dropped by Daniela for most of the race. Was caught by Emma Pallant close to Snow Canyon and then a couple more at the bottom of Snow Canyon after that fast descent, which isn't my forte. So started the run feeling pretty terrible, was kind of just accepting that people were gonna catch me and that's a bad headspace to get into for me. It's how I felt in Miami, just getting to the finish line. but. Magically, halfway through the run, I kind of turned a corner and felt 
like I had a bit of energy, my stride was coming back, and uh, I knew the last 5K was downhill. So when Holly and Sky started kind of coming back towards me, um, I decided just to give it a go, try to pass them. Ended up finishing fourth, which isn't bad in this caliber of field, but was mostly disappointed just with how I felt on the race. Like I'm comparing my races now to how I felt in Daytona, which isn't fair to myself because that was honestly perfect and magical and never ever happens except maybe once in your career. So. Um, mentally dealing with that and just knowing that racing is hard and it's not always going to feel effortless like Daytona did is important and a good lesson I think especially on this type of super brutal course and it was if anything like a really good reminder of what this course is like since world championships are here in September and yeah I think I can definitely do way better and although I'm not happy with that race it's not a disaster. I'd say we talked to probably 30 people after the race who came and said hi, and one of those 30 people was excited about how yeah. they performed. If you want to have a fast like PB, whatever that means, Feel good. in a 70.3, don't come to St. George, but if you want to like enjoy the most beautiful you know, scenery and a very cool town that really just gets behind the race, this is the one to do. So yeah, yeah we pretty much had perfect conditions yesterday. It was like overcast and not as windy as everyone was expecting, so we got lucky there. And just had a really fun time after the race with everyone who wanted to come and say hi and had hats on, like TTL stuff, and it kind of blew us away how much this community has, community has expanded and um, yeah, it's just like made so a huge, unbelievable. Yeah, made a huge difference for me. I could have been in a serious funk for a week without the number of people who came up and said hi after Wearing the race. A hat, yeah, and we're like, well, this is bigger than just our results, so yeah. thanks for watching and everyone who like gets a hat and just follows us and supports us. That is why we do it. And yeah, it just made it not so bad that we didn't have the best races ever. Yeah. What about these cool uh, crew necks? Yeah, so these are our newest addition to the crew neck family. <laughs> these are these are unisex, <laughs> men's, whatever. Yeah. All you guys who said you wanted sage. Go grab them. Don't fail me now. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> and also these are like a little bit of a prototype, these metallic truckers. If you like those, let us know and um, we'll make more, <laughs> right? That's how we roll. That's how we roll. <laughs> That's how we make our decisions. Yeah. <laughs> Number of likes. Feels a bit like life before the fall Taste of how it used to be Playing records spun a thousand times I think you should get a mic that you tell us Why are you saying just because it's bigger? No, these things help so much Why are you surprised? That's never raised good in the 70.3 Okay, this is actually our number one uh, coffee shop recommendation in St. George, and it's nowhere near St. George.